everyone, welcome to my repotting video. I will be repotting three plants today. Hope you enjoy it. This is the Monstera. Um, not that tall, as you can see. Um, and I'll show, okay, if this is the way, yeah, not that tall. The leaves are very, very floppy, probably very dead. Um, and underneath here, you can't even see um, any potential, like, roots, because that's, like, that's where I normally see if the plant is not, is, is um, needing to be repotted. But you can't even see any roots. There we go, you can't even see any roots, I don't know what that is. Um, and this is why I put a plastic underneath there because, yeah, there's, okay. So what I'm going to try and do is sort of show you, I don't know if I can, in terms of camera angles, I think this is the best we're going to get. So. What I'm going to try and do is pop this guy out. Oh, there's really nothing. I don't even think there's... Oh my goodness. Oh guys. There is literally zero root growth. Zero. So homeboy is dead. Um, you can see he was trying, the the, he was trying to be alive, but man, yeah, so this guy has been sitting here doing nothing for a very long time, no wonder his leaves are, uh, not, and there's like no root growth, all I'm doing is pouring soil out onto this plastic um, so what I think I'm gonna do because I think there's still hope right there's that little bit of a, of a leaf there and a little bit there so what I think I'm gonna do is put this guy in some water um, which is what I did with the others and see if we can get a little bit of growth so let me just go get a job so I've just gotten a jar, filled it with water up until there, there's really no um, right or wrong way to do it, and I'm just going to pop this guy into here, uh, if you can see, there we go, and um, hopefully something happens, something positive happens from this, but yeah, um, let's move on to the next plant. So guys, I've been keeping this guy in this little bottle and you can see it's like a mission. It's not a mission, but shame. I can imagine it's not nice to live in such a small space. This is a golden pothos, I think, because it hasn't shown me any marbling um, variegation. What I'm going to do is just pop it in here. It didn't grow well when I did put it in swell before. So... I'm not so sure if this will if this will work out. Um, I'm gonna try, but look at how beautiful that is, guys. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Um, I'm gonna try and um, see how this goes. Um, let me just dig a little bit of a bigger hole. Little homie, little homie to go in. Um, and also, um, if you guys know, can you let me, can you tell me if, like, because golden pothos are, like, essentially hard to kill. But I think something is wrong with my terracotta pots. Is it possible that they could be the problem? I'm just going to grab some soil from here. 
put it into here. Uh, hopefully this goes. I have a, an issue, I, I'm, I think my husband always complains that I'm not putting the plants, I'm not planting the plants um, straight enough. So this is a little bit skew as well, but we can just do that. And that's it. Ooh, yeah, hopefully. So when you do do a from water propagation to a, a soil propagation um, just remember to water uh, quite frequently just to make sure that um, you you give it as much soil um, as much water as it was used to yay mm -hmm. This is how it looks after repotting. I realized I didn't give enough footage of it. decided to switch over to voiceover for this part um, look at how beautiful these luscious green leaves are of the monstera always advisable to put your pot the pot that you're going to be transferring to use that initially to just make sure that the size is right and you're not transplanting into a too big of a pot So I'm going to use this uh, cash pole pot as my mixing bowl. I've got some bark, perlite, and some indoor potting soil that's quite old. Um, I like to do my own mix, but I think the indoor pot potting soil that you get at the shop should have enough bark and uh, little bits of like vermiculite, I think. It is at this point that I realized that using a glass jar was a waste of my time and that it is better to pour it over using the plastic bags themselves. Just pour it all into there. If you want a more porous soil, then you can add a little bit more uh, perlite, but I think this was just the right amount. I think it's just a, a matter of feeling it through and seeing what your plants need. All done. So I've got my terracotta pot. I would not advise it to you to have a terracotta bowl like a saucer because um, it will drain more water than it needs to. But this was a present, and I'm really grateful for it. So this is where things went wrong. I have actually never transplanted such a big plant. Um, so yeah, lessons learned from this. I should have actually squeezed 
the plastic pot on all sides to make sure that the yeah the ball uh, the the, le the roots are not stuck to the edges. But yeah, decided to go all cowboy on it. Unfortunately. This is me ripping, literally ripping the roots out, which was terrible. I felt horrible after this. Yeah, as I said, not good. Pulling out all those roots. But look at how beautiful those roots are. It's got some aerial roots and some nice, fine roots. Yeah, look at that. Look at how beautiful those are. This is me trying to plant straight again. I'm not very good at it. So I always use, reuse the soil that I was planting with unless like, there's something wrong, unless there's um, bugs and things, um, fungi, but yeah, no need to, soil is expensive, like it can accumulate these things, these prices, these costs. Look at all those roots that I'm throwing out, terrible. So I'm just going to pour over the last bit of soil and it's actually not enough so I think yeah I added I think I even added more than this after afterwards but there you have it one eternity later so this is a few weeks later I think I, I think I did this in March and this is how the plants are looking those are the two old um, leaves and it's got two new ones um, from being grown in water so that's uh, I think that's brilliant this plant was base it was very dead so well done to me or to it uh, look at those roots beautiful strong roots Ugh, lovely And then for the, what I think is the golden pothos, this plant is not doing well at all. I even, I thought maybe there's like apical dominance, like the, like the others were not growing because of the one at the top. So I chopped that off, but still not giving me any good vibes. Um, I checked underneath to see if there's any issues. Cause you remember it had like the, that huge, um, like like that coiled um, root system so yeah and the monstera so beautiful um there is a bit of salt damage i can if i can say that for lack of a better word where you can see it here the the like the leaf sheath if that's the right word is crispy and brown so it's not looking too good. Um, thanks for coming along this repotting journey with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions or share any experiences that you have had with repotting. Thanks for watching, guys.